All right, friends. So I literally just went on to my computer and I Googled fast ways to declutter. And this is what it told me as the first comment that pulled up. I didn't have to click on the website. The first comment that pulled up and it's called the four box method. And you know, as this is a brand new year and we are trying to live our best life and be our best person, let's go ahead and declutter that house. So I'm gonna give you the rules for the four box method because I thought it was genius and probably something we're all doing and not thinking about it. So in the four box method, well, you start with four boxes, but I don't always have boxes around. So I'm just gonna use bags. I have several bags that I have been meaning to recycle anyway, so I'm gonna use them for this reason. So the first thing when you're starting the four box method is that you want to plan out what you want to do. You want to walk away from the four box method feeling successful, which guys, we will, we're gonna do it. So today what you're gonna do is you're gonna plan out, do you wanna do a whole house declutter? Like, are you feeling extremely motivated? Or like me, is it a very rainy day outside and you're not feeling very motivated, you'd rather go sit on the couch. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what your plan is, but I want you to make one in your head right now. I am going to be decluttering my living room and kitchen and, okay, yeah. I'm gonna be decluttering my main floor. The floor that when you open the door and you walk in, it's a little bit cluttered because it just needs some help right now. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be decluttering our living room, dining room, the entryway closet, and our kitchen. And I'm gonna be doing it all within, hmm, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes. You know why? I don't feel like doing this today. And <laughs> you're probably there with me, but we're gonna motivate each other to get this done because it's only gonna take us 10 minutes. I know normally I say, if you watch my other videos, do 20 minute cleanups, but I just literally don't feel like it today. And so if you're on the same bus I am, let's go do a 10 minute declutter. So that's my plan, 10 minutes. Okay, now for why you have the bags or boxes. I'm gonna have bags. So the bags are gonna be, one is for trash, which we're gonna deal with immediately. One is for recycling. One is for anything that you wanna donate or sell. And then the last one is for things that you need to put away. The last thing that Google told me when I was doing this is that it has to be done immediately. When you are finished decluttering, do not sit with that trash and put it by the door. Do not put that resell by the door and then leave it. If you're going to sell something, which personally I say don't worry about it unless you're really gonna get a big bang for your buck. I was just talking to my sister-in-law about this. Hi Sam, if you're watching this, that we all wanna resell things because we all know that we put a lot of money into buying such and such item. Think about your actual money you make from your job. Is it worth the hour you're putting into it? Would you rather be doing something else? Personally, my answer is usually 100% always yes. I just donated several things that I had thought about selling for a while and they've been sitting in my closet forever. Guys, let's stop doing that to ourselves. Stop sitting on things and being like, well, I wanna sell this, so I'm gonna wait, what, like two, three months? Because we're not motivated to do it? No, if you're gonna sell it, you need to be motivated now. You need to, when you're done with the four bag declutter, you're going to take pictures, you're gonna post it, and you're gonna give yourself one week to get rid of that stuff. If it is still there after a week and somebody hasn't picked it up, then you need to kiss it goodbye and just say, thank you world for this. I have enjoyed it while I had it and now someone else can appreciate it. So total side note, but that's my deal on that. Give yourself a week and move on because I've made that mistake too many times and had too much crap in my closet. So we're gonna go get started now, guys. I'm gonna go get my four different bags, one for trash, one for recycle, one for donate, sell, and one for just things that are in the wrong room that I need to be put away. And then within that 10 minutes, we are also going to deal with all of it. So I might not be done with everything, but you know what guys, by the end of it, after that 10 minutes, I'm gonna still feel a lot better. And so will you. So let's go do it. now and 
I'm going to go get started and just start dumping them into the different bags as quickly as possible because I'm getting ready to start my 10 minute timer now. trash and I have things that need to be put away. So I haven't found anything to recycle yet and I haven't had found anything that I am willing to sell or donate yet. All right, y'all, so I am basically done. Obviously, my put away bag is pretty big. There's a lot of things that need to go somewhere else. I have a few things in my trash that um, we've just had around since Christmas. And then this is what it looks like now. The book bags are put away where they're supposed to be. There are some Christmas stuff that are still out that we're still enjoying. But for the most part, it's put away. And that little precious thing over there is the dog bed that my daughter made for Biscuit. Hi, Biscuit! He actually kind of likes it. So we've left it up for now because it brings her joy. And that's what we have so far. So I feel a lot better about it. That was an annoying cleanup. And I actually spent more time thinking about cleaning up than actually it took me. So I have some extra time. So before I tackle these, for bags, I'm going to go put the dishes away because they are still out. So I need to empty my dishwasher and put these few dishes away. The nice thing about doing things like this is that sometimes just by starting, by saying, okay, I'm only giving myself 10 minutes and I have to get rid of it all and I have to clean it all up, it really does make you wanna clean more and do more. So I'm gonna put the dishes away 
and it hasn't even been like six minutes yet, so I'm doing pretty good. So I put the dishes away and now I'm just gonna quickly put the things that need to go away away and I am done. All right, so this one's easy because this is just trash. So I'm gonna just go throw it away. This is my only thing that I had in my donate piles. I'm gonna take this and some things that I've gathered that are near my door anyway and actually go put them in my car because like Google said, when I search, when you are donating things, you get stuck and it gets by the door and it never moves, but today that's not gonna happen. Let's go through this real quick. We have an umbrella, some things that just need to go in our hall closet. So I put the donate stuff in my trunk. I just threw away the trash in the trash can. And those few things that I found downstairs are put away now, either in the bathroom, the kitchen, or in my room, and I am finished. I am so tired, even though that was 10 minutes, but that is the four box method. Remember, one you have trash, you have one for things that need to be put away. You have one to donate or resell, and you have one for recycling. And so that really makes things easier. And if you don't, bags worked perfectly fine for me. It gave me a thing to like quickly just throw things in so that I didn't have to think too hard about it. I made very quick decisions and I was done in 10 minutes. I hope to see you guys again soon because you're gonna hit that subscribe button and come back next week.